How bad? I don't know yet. Dix! I'm all right. I'm all right. Am I all right? Yeah. Yeah, you feel all right? Yeah, quit looking at me like that. Hi everyone, I'm Johnny and today we're taking a look at Band of Brothers episode 5 titled Replacements. This is another excellent episode, this one covering Operation Market Garden, an even larger airborne operation than on D-Day, but one that will this time be largely unsuccessful. Episode 4 is titled Replacements, and these replacements will be an aspect of war covered in the episode. On D-Day alone, the 101st Airborne suffered 182 men killed, 557 wounded, and 501 missing. Large numbers of missing men were common for paratroopers, given the nature of their combat. Replacements were something Easy Company and the 101st would have to struggle with throughout the war. Tension was common as new men filled the voids created by old comrades. Experienced paratroopers could be cold towards replacements, knowing they too might die. A notable replacement in the episode is a young James McAvoy, playing Private James Miller. Combat operations begin in the episode with Easy Company landing near Eindhoven in occupied Netherlands. This drop, part of Market Garden, would be the largest airborne operation in history, delivering near 35,000 men of the 101st, 82nd, and 1st Airborne Divisions, and the Polish Brigade. Over 14,000 troops were landed by glider, and just over 20,000 by parachute. The job of these men was to secure bridges, roads, and towns, creating a 64-mile protective corridor that Allied tanks could use to create a breakout into northern Germany, which theoretically could have ended the war by Christmas of 1944. The operation had little room for error, and the German defenders organized a stronger and more rapid defense than anticipated while the attacking allies were slow to link up and capture all their objectives. The US 101st Division was ordered to capture Eindhoven and bridges over the canals and rivers north of the town. Eindhoven itself was easily liberated by the American paratroopers, though they were bogged down by the jubilation that followed. Fun fact, shown here is the real babe Heffron joining in on the fun. The stretch of road the 101st would have to fight for would come to be known as Hell's Highway, and the condensed engagements in the show are centered around Noonan, where the 101st would be repulsed. Here, the show gives us some excellent tank battles featuring a Tiger I and a Jag Panther. At Noonan, Cromwell tanks of the British King's Royal Hussars of the 11th Armored Division engaged with the German 107th Panzer Brigade, which would have historically fielded Panther tanks and Panzer IVs. A scene during this battle some people get bent out of shape over is a British tank commander's ignorance on receiving a warning from an American paratrooper. I don't see him. Put a couple shells through that building. You're going to see him real good. I can't. My orders are no unnecessary destruction of property. I'm telling you. It's best to view this scene as a one off. Tank commanders did have such orders, but they weren't stupid. What this scene represents is the occasional and documented rifts that could form between American and British soldiers, but for the most part, they worked well together. Two other themes to expand on in the episode is firstly the use of Orange by the Dutch. In the 16th century, William of Orange led a revolt against the Spanish, who had occupied the Netherlands. Orange has since been a symbol of resistance and Dutch unity and a color associated with the House of Orange. During the war, the British broadcasted radio for the Dutch resistance, called Radio Orange. The Germans outlawed displays of orange, which could even include wearing or displaying orange flowers. So you can imagine how good it would feel for the Dutch to celebrate in orange once again. Another theme in the episode accurately shows how horizontal collaborators were treated. The Dutch resistance took revenge on women who had relationships with German soldiers. This was a common occurrence in many occupied nations. Many of these women became homeless outcasts. Even their part German babies were shunned by society. The mood would further sour in Eindhoven after liberation when it was bombed by the Luftwaffe on September 19, 1944, destroying large parts of the city 
killing 227 civilians and further damaging significant Allied equipment. All right, I'm Johnny. Thank you for watching. It's always a pleasure to review Band of Brothers episodes. If you haven't seen the series, go watch it. Even if you aren't a World War II history enthusiast, it's so well done. I think almost anyone can appreciate it. Like and subscribe to support the channel. We'll see you next time and have a nice rest of your day.